There's also a thing that happens when I'm retopping where, you know, because I'm like all up in this thing's armpit, I think that these details actually matter. But then when you sort of zoom out, you say, actually, that is a tiny feature and I'm probably going overboard. And I think that's kind of what I'm doing here. So I'll leave it for now. But what I'd actually like to do is show you a little trick. So I have these two identical features and I could very easily just do this again. But that was kind of annoying. So I'm going to turn quad draw off, hit F8. I'm going to uh, display, hide and select it. And I'm going to duplicate this thing. You can go ahead and just hide the original. And then if you double click, you can get the whole um, the, the, a, a ring of faces. So I've selected what I want. You can see it's on both sides there. I'm going to hit select inverse, which is the opposite selection. Delete everything. Modify center pivot. I'm going to go back to my original geometry and show this stuff. That's going to be a shift H. And then just kind of scoot it down. Ah, you can see it's not. Oh, because I uh, this thing is kind of rotated a little bit, so no big deal. We just have to raise it up a little bit. Make sure it looks like there's a tiny uh, amount of rotation on there. I wonder if I can match that. And you can see I'm off the surface a tiny bit. So because this has this rotation on it, I'm actually thinking not worth it. Never mind. All right, we'll go back to the uh, original mesh. It wasn't that painful to do, but I do kind of want it to be consistent. And you can always reposition these verts as you're drawing them out. Well, verts isn't exactly what they are, but they're pretty close. Something like this, I think. So we got, that looks about the same, right? Yeah. I wonder, okay. So it looks like this one's just kind of under that lip a little bit, which is definitely not where I want it. I want it on the top of that surface. And again, I just want a nice kind of consistent uh, ring of polygons around the outside. Try to capture the overall silhouette of this feature. And then we'll just hit the inside, try to keep it a little bit more regular. So you'll hear me harping on symmetry a lot. It's very, very important if you can, if you can preserve it because you just save so much time. I mean, like I'm doing the other half at the same time. It's like a, like a little miracle. Okay, so now again we're going to need to hold control and we'll go ahead and start to... I guess if you've got a triangle you can go ahead and, and shift click and fill it in. But we'll just look at the rest of this. So now I kind of want to keep in mind what's going on over here. So I have three points there. I think that's reasonable. Doesn't really want to go there. So we'll just, I think I just gave myself an extra point. Yeah.
So we just want to make sure that these guys here, this point, this point, and this point are evenly distributed. And this might be one of these areas where like once I kind of zoom out and I look back at it, I think, boy, I sure did not need all those polygons, but it's going to be a relatively inexpensive retop anyway. I'm just trying to keep this stuff reasonably clean. And once again, we'll have our little three. Let's see. Three points there to describe this curve. Oops, so I just hit W, I think, which hops out of uh, Quadra. So if that happens, yeah, W. So, because uh, I want to move the vert rather than just clicking on it. So if you want to move it, it thinks you want to deal with, uh, with actual geometry and it will give you the geometry back. One of those scenarios where muscle memory is actually a little bit inconvenient. So I'm definitely not going to put this into the uh, the the high poly or the low poly. I mean, way too much of a hassle. And I think I might do these pieces individually here. Let me think. Nah, there's not really reason to do that. So I'm going to get rid of these and add our three points here for our curves. Yeah, so I'm actually going to do two different things here. I'm going to put this recessed area in the in the retop and then I'm also going to come in and do these independently. And it looks like I've got an issue with my symmetry on this piece. Always worth keeping that in mind as you're uh, as you're working. I didn't make this high poly, so I don't really know for sure that it's symmetrical. So that's a really good thing to kind of keep an eye for. Anyway, I'm going to come back to this area. I don't want to get too far off, off track now. So there's this edge here, right? And I could totally run it over, but it doesn't actually describe a change in the silhouette. So I'm just going to terminate it there. Yeah, we don't want to do that one. So if we put a face there, we can kind of capture a little bit of a more a more softness over that transition. And then I'll just kind of snap these guys together. Beautiful. And I don't need to preserve that quad there. I can go ahead and make it a triangle. Can be a little bit tricky to see what's going on here in terms of the shading. So I'm actually going to just throw a blend on here in a second, but we're getting to the end of this video. So I'll do it in the next one.